living here, I live in this school with no idea of the market and the place they're walking into. They are looking for a job. So let me share some few notes with you on how to improve that. Some of you are in your first year and second year, it's not too late. Third years and fourth years, tough luck. <laughs> you already fed that in the team. But for first years and second years, when you go home for holidays, take off your shoes. Walk around the community. Identify the problems that are in the community. Write a proposal for yourself, a research paper, on how are you going to transform this community. Come to this university. Look for solutions on how to solve that problem that is in your community. Study the science of solving your community. Network with other people who will add value to your proposal to solve your community. When you leave the institution of learning, by then you should know where the financiers are, know where the marketeers are, know where the social workers are, whatever it is, the engineers, if it is water, if it is sewage, if it is food, no matter what the problem is. Do you know your problem before you solve it? No. The white man told us, you come to school first, you must study. Then after that, you, you look for a job. Where? And you always go where your skills are appreciated. Then you talk about brain drain. Because your skills there, it is the power of diversity that makes us a unique continent. Not conformity and making all of us into slaves on the marketplace of work. Education is becoming photocopy machines of fools. <laughs> ask me why, ask me why. Because we come to learn, we come to study, and when we live here, first thing we do, I hear back. I, oh, that sounds familiar. Simply come to school to develop an attitude, a positive attitude towards books, towards written stuff, so that you can reference your information. Many of us go through school, but school never goes through, through us. <laughs> but immediately you graduate, you're a professor, you're a doctor, you're a master student, you don't read and you don't write. So the question is, what did you go to school to do? So let's go together. The first estate is the estate of? And put some few notices around your head. No illegal land owners here. No illegal immigrants here. No illegal informers here. No illegal plants here. No foreign seeds here. No foreign culture. No foreign music here. No foreign ideologies here. Because this is a private property. And if you are not careful to hear what I'm saying, you're going to become a coconut. Brown on the outside, white on the inside. <laughs> then what is life there for? Because remember in the world of psychology, Every time you try to be like me, you are forfeiting me an opportunity to experience you. 